what caused ETH's price movement and a study calls for more consistent stablecoin regulations. You're watching Coindesk Daily. I'm your host, Jen Sanasi. According to Coindesk Indices data, Ether prices rallied to $3,600 while Bitcoin remained around $71,000. ETH's Bitcoin bearing performance could be attributed to continued market interest in decentralized finance protocol Athena, which has seen its total value locked cross the $2.2 billion mark over the last few days after crossing $2 billion on April 6th. This may be purely a rally based on token demand rather than the hope for an Ether spot ETF approval in the near future. Betters on Polymarket see a 16% chance of a spot Ether ETF being approved by the end of May and only a 45% chance of it being approved by the end of June. Crypto trader Eisenberg's criminal fraud and manipulation trial will open on Tuesday. The trial is expected to run for two weeks and will determine whether Eisenberg broke the law when he deployed a self-described highly profitable trading strategy that crippled mango markets in October 2022. Eisenberg is accused of illegally gaming mango markets futures contracts by manipulating the price of the Mango token and then borrowing effectively all of Mango's deposits against his position. He walked away with $110 million in cryptocurrencies other people had deposited on the platform, later returning a portion of that in exchange for a promise that Mango's backers would not seek his prosecution. That promise was not kept. And a financial stability study calls for consistent regulatory response to stable coins. The Financial Stability Institute, which was jointly created by the Bank for International Settlements and the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, is tasked with assisting global regulators in strengthening their financial systems. That's a wrap for Coindesk Daily. Get more updates on Coindesk.com and we'll see you next time.